Hi, I'm Dave McClelland. I'm standing in Mearsbrook Park Road, Sheffield, the city where I live. Right here, six months ago, tree campaigners were assaulted by security guards paid for by the global corporation Amy so that it can continue to minimise the costs on a 25-year PFI contract. Six tree protesters arrested on this street alone in January. Now, under the terms of that contract, thousands of Sheffield's glorious street trees have been under threat. Was it signed by a Tory council or a Lib Dem one? Yes, the Lib Dems did negotiate it, but it was a Labour council that signed it and still supports it fully. Despite claims otherwise, Amy's approach to felling trees is indiscriminate. Whether trees are healthy, were paid for by residents, or even if they're recognised war memorials, Amy wants them down to maximise profits. Now this means felling half of Sheffield's street trees. That's right, the chainsawing of 17,500 publicly owned trees. That's enough to line a, a road stretching from Sheffield to Birmingham on both sides. The PFI deal hasn't just resulted in the loss of trees. It's seen campaigners arrested on spurious charges. This Labour Council keeps taking protesters to court as recently as last week and inflicting punishing costs, all to support the profits of Amy. Now, to pay these costs and other legal bills, campaigners have had to raise more than £75,000. Public streets and assets are being turned into privatised corporate resources. And this Sheffield Amy PFI is supported by a Labour Council that's out of step with national Labour policy. Recent local elections have punished Labour at the ballot box, but this has not been enough. The Labour Party membership across the region has come out against the fellings, passing a number of critical motions. The very first motion, an emergency resolution calling for a halt to felling and mediation, was overwhelmingly passed on 18th of January by the Gleedless Valley Labour Party, based in this very ward. Many others follows. It seems clear that the rank-and-file membership are simply not prepared to stand for it. I left Sheffield Labour Party because their behaviour over the trees made me realise that Sheffield Council is ruled by a small group of people who are not acting in accordance with the principles of the Labour Party or in the best interests of the people of Sheffield and the Labour councillors do not have the courage to stand up to them. The council has the power to stop fellings and to renegotiate the contract. Instead, it chooses to keep the contract secret and support a private company over its own citizens. Labour Party members in Sheffield could not disagree more with their own council. We are here to show our opposition to the injunctions. Many tree protectors are Labour Party members. Protecting the environment and public assets such as trees seems like a natural thing for Labour to do. Yet Sheffield Council leader Julie Daw continues to support Amy and the felling of Sheffield trees. Well, Labour Party members are not standing for it. I quit the Labour Party because no Labour Council should be criminalising protest against PFIs. No Labour Council should be attempting to jail opposition councillors. And no Labour Council should be wasting thousands, tens of thousands of pounds on legal efforts against peaceful protest. It's heartbreaking to see much of street trees felled and shredded. The streetscape is being traumatised, with residents left to deal with the consequences. Memories of long-loved trees haunt street corners. Memorials to war dead, threatened with removal. Children crying as a deceased grandma's favourite tree is felled. The felling policy is brutal. It ignores human connections to their neighbourhood. It ignores air quality and climate change. It's profits before people. It's for the few and not the many. But more and more Labour Party members are not having it anymore. I'm not actually a resident of Sheffield. I come from Derbyshire Dales. But I've been a Labour supporter all my life. 
I'm an environmentalist and I believe that in these days of climate change we should be saving trees, not cutting them down. It's in protest to the actions of Sheffield City Council that I've decided to leave the Labour Party. Despite thousands of complaints and hundreds of freedom of information requests, Sheffield City Council refuses to listen. Labour Party members are keen to let Labour councillors understand the trauma that chainsaws and shredders inflict on the citizens of Sheffield, on the memories of our war dead and on the environment we create for our children. I rejoined the Labour Party two years ago with the hope of Corbyn's leadership and the manifesto that promised so much. I found under the trees lots of other Labour Party members active in the campaign. They're angry about what damage has been done to Sheffield's reputation in the city, I mean, and apart from the environmental destruction that's involved. Beyond that, the party nationally faces damage and for our PFI Amy to be on a level with Haringey and Southwark's housing joint ventures it is really beyond belief. Sheffield City Council need to realise that the more they push on with Amy and tree felling, the more they fell their own membership. Recent elections showed the power of citizens motivated by the tree issue. This is now about much more than trees. It's about accountability. It's about public streets being made private, and it's about democracy. These are principles that any self-respecting Labour council should be upholding. So why won't Sheffield? Hello there. I'm Jeremy. Can you fetch Julie for me? I want to ask her about what's going on in Sheffield. Hang on a minute, I'll just ring her. Sorry, you can't record in here. You're going to have to take your cameras outside. But Jeremy's over there. I'm, I'm very sorry, she doesn't want to see you right now. What? She won't see me? Who does she think she is? This strong leader model is out of control. I need her to come down right now and explain why all these party membership cards are being shredded in Sheffield. Doesn't she realise that she and her wretched PFI deal with Amy a totally out of step with National Labour policy. Yes. What? Julie said it was bonkers. Or was it Michael Gove? I, I really don't know what we're going to do about all this. All these trees being chopped down in Sheffield. People resigning from the Labour Party. All this very, very bad publicity all over the world. In The Guardian, The Daily Mail. Julie, get yourself sorted out in Sheffield. 